Man United want to sign special Fulham star to replace Rafael Verani. Manchester United want to sign special Fulham star Tosin Adarabioyo in the upcoming summer transfer window to replace the outgoing Rafael Verani. Verani will leave Old Trafford when his contract runs expires at the end of the season, which means the Red Devils will need to recruit a new centre back. Adarabioyo is one of a number of options United are looking at and they are very much interested in a deal for the 26 year old. Who is set to become a free agent? That's according to Sky Sports, who report that United are keen to speak to Adarabioyo's representatives, with Chelsea and Newcastle also linked to him. Fulham boss Marco Silva, who described Adarabioyo as a special player back in December, recently confirmed that the 26 year old will probably leave the club. There's been a lot of noise around Tosin, Silva told TNT Sports. Being honest, it's really difficult to renew with him. Probably at the end of the season he's going to leave the club. Not 100%, but probably it's going to happen. Adarabioyo helped Fulham win the championship title in 2022 and has established himself as an important player at Craven Cottage in the top flight. He joined Fulham four years ago from Manchester City after failing to break into the first team at the Etihad, but Pep Guardiola has always spoken highly of him. He is fast, strong in the air, and has the quality to look forward behind the line for the next pass, Guardiola said about Adarabioyo back in 2016. Adarabioyo has made 132 appearances for Fulham to date but has missed their last three Premier League games due to the intense speculation over his future. Should the defender decide to join United, he could be set to replace Verani, who has sent a touching message to the club's fans confirming his departure. I'll see you at Old Trafford to say goodbye for the last game at home this season and it's going to be a very emotional day for me, for sure, the Frenchman said. Manchester United confirmed first major departure of the summer with star player to leave. Manchester United have announced Rafael Varane will leave the club at the end of the season in what is expected to be a summer of major upheaval at Old Trafford. Verani joined United from Real Madrid in the summer of 2021 and will leave Old Trafford when his contract expires at the end of June. One of the game's most decorated defenders, the World Cup winner helped United win the Carabao Cup last season after forming a formidable partnership with Lisandro Martinez at the heart of defence. He has also been hampered by a series of injury problems during his time at the club however and is currently fighting to return in time for United's FA Cup final showdown with Manchester City on May 25. The 31-year-old has made 93 appearances in his three seasons in Manchester, starting 24 matches in all competitions this term. He will leave the club as a free agent with United opting against triggering a one-year extension on his contract. In a message to United fans in a video shared on social media, Varane said, To you guys, supporters of Manchester United. It's been an amazing few years to play for this special club and wearing that shirt. The first time I went to Old Trafford as a Manchester United player was insane, the atmosphere was amazing. I fell in love with the club, with the fans. You have to play for Man United to understand what that represents. For my kids, it's home here. It's going to be a special place for me for life. When the fans go to Wembley it's something they remember for life. To share that moment with them, winning the Carabao Cup, was absolutely amazing. Despite the fact we had a difficult season, I'm very positive for the future. The new owners are coming with a clear plan and a great strategy. I'll see you at Old Trafford to say goodbye for the last game at home this season and it's going to be a very emotional day for me, for sure. As many as 12 players could leave United this summer as Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos continue their efforts to lift the club from their slump having already made a number of appointments off the pitch. Verani is expected to be targeted by clubs in the Saudi Pro League with his former Real Madrid teammate Casemiro also wanted by at least two Saudi sides after a disappointing second season at United. Eric Ten Hag responds to Bruno Fernandes transfer speculation as captain considers move. Eric Ten Hag is confident Bruno Fernandes will not leave Manchester United this summer as clubs begin to circle for his club captain. Fernandes has been perhaps United's most important player since his arrival from Sporting CP in January 2020, captaining the club for the last two seasons. Earlier this month, 
the Portugal international appeared to suggest he could consider taking on a new challenge away from Manchester with clubs in Saudi Arabia eager to sign both him and teammate Case Miro. Bayern Munich are also interested with the Sun suggesting Fernandes will consider a move away this summer. But speaking ahead of United's final home game of the season against Newcastle United on Wednesday, Ten Hag, whose own future remains in real doubt, underlined the club's desire to keep Fernandes at Old Trafford. He told a press conference, it's the same question as last week. So I answered. The same answer. Now in all the years he was, he was a tremendously important player for Manchester United and creating the most chances across the Premier League. So many assists, so many goals. It's clear he's a very important player for us. Fernandez's form has been a bright spark in a miserable end to the season for United, scoring eight times and providing three assists in his last eight appearances. The captain has missed United's last two games, however, defeats to Crystal Palace and Arsenal, and remains a doubt for the visit of the Magpies. Fernandez has been United's only consistent source of goals as of late with Rancis Hodgland enduring another barren spell. The Dane has scored just one goal in 10 games since returning from injury in March, teed up by Fernandez against Sheffield United, with reports this week claiming his United teammates are reluctant to pass to the young striker. He has had three injuries this season but still, as you say, he scored 14 goals this season, Ten Hag said. I think that's a very good record for a young player. Also when we decided to go for him we talked about earlier that we buy a player, of course, for this season and also for the future. He has to develop, he has to progress, he needs time and sometimes it goes up and down. Before winter he struggled to get his first Premier League goal but you see he is a very strong character. Sometimes you have downs but I am sure he will fight his way. He is very eager for every match to return to his form and I am more confident. He's close.